Stephanie has a lot of guests there. Should I go to the kitchen and fix the drinks? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, that would be nice, Dave. Thank you. Yeah, I think this may be the most guests we've ever had on set at once. So it is a, an exciting morning for us here. Well, the holidays can be a tough time for people, including those who can get anxious about travel. Well, fortunately for us here in the Bay Area, there's a special program bringing smiles and easing worries for passengers at San Francisco Airport, one tail wag at a time. Joining me now are Jennifer Kazarian, Josh Rowe, and Hannah Ransom with the SFO Wag Brigade. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Oh, thanks for having thank us. Yes, thank yeah, you for having us. To be here. It really is so fun to see everybody here. We've got the Indiana Jones. <laughs> Correct, yeah. And we have Alex the Great. Yes. Giant rabbit. Incredible. Um, so starting off with you, Jennifer, or any of you can chime in here. Tell us a bit about the program, how you got started. The Wag Brigade is a partnership between SFO and the San Francisco SPCA's Animal Assisted Therapy Program. Uh, we got started back in 2013. Um, the idea for therapy animals in airports actually got started the day after 9-11. Wow. Yeah, so um, it was San Jose Airport. Their airport chaplain brought his therapy dog to work the day after 9-11. And yeah, so we actually were the third airport to start a program. And how have things evolved since then? I mean, have you added more animals to the brigade? Yes, we have. So um, the most animals we've had on the brigade at one time is 35. Uh, at the present time, we have 13 animals. We have 11 dogs, and we have <laughs> one giant rabbit. We have a pig, and we also have a cat. Okay, very good. So quite yes, a variety, yes, a diversity yes. of animals. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, what's it been like interacting with passengers at the airport, especially you know this year we're seeing travel return to those pre-pandemic levels. I'm sure it's been busy for you guys. Oh yeah, no, um, it's it's actually been um, you know we've been we're probably one of the newest members to the Wag Brigade, but um, Alex just um, it's. And also because he's very special, he's not a he's not a dog necessarily. So we get a lot of attention, and um, we get a lot of people asking about him. So it's 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 really great, and it does really help people. So the whole AAT program through the SPCA is great, um, and uh, yeah, we do a lot of work for them. And uh, tell us a bit too about um, Alex's personality. What makes him so perfect to interact with customers who might be feeling some anxiety? So yeah, all rabbits in general have their own personalities, and Alex has one of those special personalities that he just loves people. He absolutely absolutely adores people and you know people at the airport will come down and if they sit on the ground he'll crawl right in their lap and wow. um, that's just how that's who he is and that's how he does things so he's got that perfect personality he just loves people and he just looks so chill just chilling in your arms there <laughs> he wants to crawl over on Jen's lap and I'm holding him back right now <laughs> and, um, Hannah tell us a bit about Indy how did you all get involved in the program yeah I've had Indy since he was one year old and he's just always been a really calm sweet good boy and he just uh, like Alex he's a total extrovert um, he loves meeting people I think he has a goal of meeting every person in the whole world yeah um, so traveling through SFO um, with him gets uh, definitely gets him some exposure to more people and love and uh, we just love spreading the, the cheer and the joy especially this time of year well he certainly brought a lot of smiles to our, uh, <laughs> faces in our new studio here this morning and you know how do people know you know it, i mean do you have certain things that the animals wear so that there's an invitation there for people to come up and how does that work so yeah we have the we have the vest and the vest they pet me on them um we typically have big crowds of people and, and that typically entices people to look in see what's going on and then other people are being petting them um kind of encourages them to kind of come up and ask um, but yeah, they're complete. You can just come up and pet them. They're 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 there. They're they're strutting their thing. So <laughs> very good. And and Jennifer, you know, what are the long term goals of the program? Uh, do you have a, a vision in mind? Well, the program is continuing to grow, and we hope to add as many animals as possible. We're okay. open to the possibility of. Um, potentially adding as many teams as we can however um yeah it, it's it, it's a matter of qualifying for the airport as well and right. it takes a really special personality from the animal to qualify for the wag brigade um we look for animals who have really friendly personalities um who are good with kids good with seniors impeccable manners <laughs> um which they yes. both clearly have yes yes <laughs> uh, the ability to resist uh, yummy treats um yeah so oh his paws going to look crazy <laughs> <laughs> he was down well when are you all at the airport typically is there a specific day or what's the schedule like? we have animals in the airport um 
any day of the week, uh, Monday or Sunday through Saturday. We typically are there in during the day. Uh, we'll often see animals between the hours of 10 and 2. Our, well, our bike brigade um, is all volunteers, so most of our volunteers have full-time jobs, and they take time out to come to the airport to volunteer their time with their animals. So each animal works a two-hour shift. They spend no more than 90 minutes post-security. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much to all of you for being here this morning. The SFO WAG Brigade, you can meet them at the, in person at the uh, San Francisco International Airport. We'll be right back.